Welcome to Scone Baking Beyond. Hi, I'm Kathy, and I enjoy making scones, muffins, cookies, and all sorts of delicious baked goodies. One of my husband's favorite scones are my English raisin scones. These scones remind us of our trips to London and the English countryside, where we've enjoyed wonderful, delicious English scones with clotted cream and jam. So, let's bake. The first thing we do is we grate our butter. That way it's just the right size when we add it to our dry ingredients. I have here five tablespoons of unsalted butter, which I'm going to grate. Okay, there we are. It's all grated. And because I've handled this butter, I wanna keep it cold. So I'm gonna put it up in the freezer and then freeze it for about five to 15 minutes. While our butter's in the freezer, it's time to put our dry ingredients together. So I have here one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one quarter cup of whole wheat pastry flour, and now I'm gonna add five tablespoons of sugar, four teaspoons of baking powder, and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. And I'm gonna whisk these dry ingredients together. And now we'll put in our butter. We're gonna add in our five tablespoons of frozen butter. And because I grated this butter and put it in the freezer, it's just the right size. I don't need to cut it in. I don't need to work it. I just need to mix it together with the flour mixture. And I just wanna make sure that all these pieces of butter get coated with that flour mixture. And that way my butter stays cold because that cold butter, before it melts, is gonna create a little steam in your scones and it's gonna make nice little pockets in our scones. And now I'm gonna add one half cup of golden raisins. And we wanna make sure the raisins get covered by the flour mixture also. That way they don't sink down to the bottom of the scone. And now I'm gonna add two thirds of a cup of cold non-fat milk. And we're gonna mix this up until it forms a ball. These scones are so easy to make and so quick. So now I'm gonna get a little flour on the board here. A little flour on my hand. Get this off of here. There we go, over there and get the last little bits of dry ingredients at the bottom. If you have a little bit down there, it's okay. They can just stay there. There we go. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pat this out into about a half an inch thick. Don't knead your dough because that will make for a tough scone. We wanna keep these light and tender. So I'm just gonna pat these out. I need a little bit more flour. There we go about a half inch thick. And then we're gonna take, if this is about a two and a half inch round cutter, and we're gonna cut our scones out and put them on our baking sheet. Now with all these scrap pieces, I'm going to just kinda, uh, just gently knead them a little bit, not much and pat them out again and cut some more. So now I'm going to, I have an egg. And I'm just gonna lightly beat up the egg. I usually do this over the sink because I usually make a mess while I lightly beat it, but there we go. And I'm going to brush the tops of all of these scones with the egg wash. There we go. We're 
we're going to let these scones rest for 15 minutes. While they're resting, we're going to preheat the oven to 400 degrees. It's been 15 minutes. Our oven is heat preheated to 400 degrees. So now it's time to put our scones in the oven for 15 minutes. It's been 15 minutes and our scones are golden brown and I know they're going to be delicious inside. The first thing I want to do is get these scones off this hot baking sheet because I don't want the bottoms of these scones to cook any more than they already have. So we'll let these rest for about a minute. Just kind of cool down a little bit, but we want to keep them warm and then we're going to try one. Our scones have cooled down a few minutes and so now they're still warm, but just not hot anymore. So I'm going to take one. We just open that up. Oh, that's so nice. We're going to add a little butter. Now I wish we lived in the UK where we could get a little clotted cream, but we can't get proper clotted cream in the US. So if you live in the UK or you can get proper clotted cream, put some of that on there. I put a little butter on there and then my husband's favorite raspberry jam. Put some of that on there. Oh. This is going to be so good. I know he's going to come and steal one of these in a second. So I'm going to take a bite. Mmm. They're nice and soft and tender. Mm. They're so quick and easy to make and you'll have scones in no time. So, oh, these are so wonderful. They just remind me of our trips to England and having scones over there. For the full recipe, please go to my website sconebaking.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for future videos. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.